Hi, I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, said my ex-boyfriend never. Now I would like to formally apologize to not only Dave Batista, but my friends and family and all of America. Okay, so a few days ago, I decided that I was gonna make a video messaging celebrities on Instagram to see who responded. And I also decided that I only wanted to send nice messages because I don't know, why be mean? for no reason. To get a reaction, that sounds, actually that sounds pretty smart, but I didn't do that. I wanted to send only nice messages, with the exception of the Paul brothers, which I said, why are you the way that you are? Why are you the way that you are? Anyway, so of course I messaged a bunch of celebrities and none of them responded because I'm myself and who cares about me? And then I thought, oh, I met Dave Bautista once in real life and maybe I'll tell him that story and he'll think it's funny. It wasn't mean, it was just a true story, of course, because I didn't want to lie and I didn't want to be mean. So I messaged him, but he, I, he, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> he basically messaged me back calling me a liar and now I'm scared he's gonna show up to my house and grand slam me, because that's what he does, right? Okay, so I'm gonna read you the message that I sent him and read his response. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm going to read the message that I sent him. Now, this is a very true story. Of course, it is the shortened version of the story, but it is a very true story. So this is what I said to Mr. Dave Batista, master of body slamming. Here it goes. Me. Hey dude, period. You went to a movie theater I worked at in, name of city here, and asked me if I knew who you were. Then when the first Guardians came out, your first line in the movie is, do you know who I am? That's wild, dude. And I left no period to show that I left no ill will towards him. Cause he actually wasn't rude. He was just a normal person. Now, of course that is the short version of the story. Oh, also his credit card was a picture of him holding up a belt. So that's, that's really cool, Dave. You're like, no, that's great. And this was his response. <laughs> Not a change in hell I ever say, quote, do you know who I am? to another human being that wasn't scripted in a scene, angry face. And I was like, <laughs> Dave hates me. <sighs> Listen, Dave Bautista, if you ever see this video, which you absolutely will not because I am a garbage person with a zero following, but listen, the interaction we had was special. You were not mean to me like that guy from the Food Network who's like super buff and wears those really tight black shirts. He's really mean and I didn't like helping him. You were nice, Dave. And we had a moment and you, you don't remember. And that's fine. It's, it's fine. I'm just a, I was just a lowly employee at a movie theater that you live by so you went to all the time. I actually don't know if he still lives here, but and you had this interaction with me and it was fine. You were plenty nice, but then you went and called me a liar. Dave, I'd like to challenge you in a fight to settle this. I want us to be friends. I want to be able to watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and know that you don't hate me. So everyone, please, I, I hope um, this apology was enough for, for everyone, but also for you, Mr. Beauty, B B B B B Bautista. Bautista? Batista. Mr. Batista. I hope this apology is enough for you and we can make up and be buddies. Like the good old days when you used to come in and I helped you probably at least twice and you never remembered me, but that's okay. I want to be like the good old days. So guys, again, I formally apologize that Mr. Batista, Batista thinks that I'm a liar and I hope that America can see that I have changed for the better and I am here as your servant. Thank you. Good night. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Also, um, if you want to subscribe, you can so that I feel less like a failure, but it probably won't make me okay. I'm Okay.